गुड आफ्टरनून इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी आर डीलिंग विद द पोयम बाय एमिली डिकिन्सन होप इज द थिंग विथ फिगर्स expectations hope in the form of bird is expressed by poet emily dickinson now we have to move towards the questions and the question may appear in examination like the theme of the poem or the central idea of the poem hope is the thing with feathers <coughs> the hope is the things with feathers the poet has compared hope an abstract thing with a bird there are some similarities between the two although man must have hope he is expected observe a limit but it does not happen because if one hope is fulfilled more hope takes birth and there is no end to hopes hope is not expressed or told about it so active in the mind human efforts are presented in gale and storm both are similar but gale is pleasant and storm is destructive when human efforts fails it is represented in storm and when they are successful it is represented in gale they cause a similar effects on the bird the bird songs is the sweetest in the gale but it is sore in the storm similarly when the hope is fulfilled it is the sweetest moment for a man and when your hope is not fulfilled it is a disappointed moment disappointing moment and experience like the soar song of the bird thus experiences of human efforts in their attempts to fulfill their hopes and experiences of the birds in both the gale and the storm run parallel with one another in the given poem the words are and structure are the same but they represent two meanings this is the peculiar technique of emily dickinson just as a man is disheartened when he is disappointed so the bird also feels abashed when in a storm it song turns sore this is the line which is very important as per as the hope is concerned or the theme of the poem that is the hope is concerned when the person is disappointed the bird also feels abashed when in the storm its song turns sore and in the second stanza the poet speaks about effect of hope it keeps man warm that in glad when the hope is fulfilled or even cherishing hope makes one glad with warmth expresses this scene the poet says so many hope people have their hopes fulfilled or cherished it with which makes them glad 
the song of the bird also gives pleasure to pleasure to many many peoples it is implicit in warm see here the song of the bird the bird the hope it is compared with the human life or it is compared with the life and death this is the significance of the hope or the central idea of the poem and here in the poem emily dickinson analyzes human notions which are important in modeling or formulating one's life here poet speaks of hope and analyzes its characteristics or characteristic qualities hope is closely integrated with each individual in the world one who wants to live a life must cherish some hope and one attempts to fulfill these hopes so life's activities depends on hope or hopes even an ascetic cherishes some hope thus there is nothing in the world and life that man does not hope for the poet poses and implications so she concludes saying like a philosopher that whether one's hope is fulfilled or not one should not take it in the extremely because both are harmful or not one should not take it in the extremely the poet then speaks of the pleasure everyone wants pleasure but more of them do not get it it is like the hide it is like the hide and seek in every one's life that the times one thinks he is the happiest person and the next moment he sees that he is the most miserable person such type of the symbolism significance central idea of the poem that we can observe in addition to this that the theme in the dickinson's poem poetry love and death love death spirituality of god etc are the usual themes of emily dickinson she wrote thousands of short poems which are called epigrams she uses a few words which are carefully selected and much is suggested rather than told the words expresses what the poet meant and here love and death is the very common theme in the writing of the emily dickinson then in addition to this one now we have to conclude the poem with the few lines about the poem that is our desires our expectations do not allow us to stop to take rest but always motivates us to work hard to go on the desires expectations hopes ideas always motivates the person to work hard and if your ideas your desires your emotions your feelings are fulfilled then you become happy and your 
the person used to share the happiness with others and if he is not happy his desires are not fulfilled then she used to sustain it in mind such type of the thing that is of the love desire expectations for hope is expressed in the poem and if the love word that is a uh, strangest and on the strangest sea yet never it's extremely it asks a term of me if the person is very strangest and suppose his hopes are fulfilled i suppose his hopes are not fulfilled in both the cases the person never shares it with others such type of the mentality such type of the persons are also there in the society and such persons never has nothing to do with the birds they never feel the birds such type of the theme symbolism idea style and the central idea is there about the poem hope is the thing with feathers by american poetess emily dickinson with this i conclude the poem okay thank you good day